Hello and welcome back to another vlog. Today's location is Bath, specifically Babington House, and I'm here with Nina Ritchie for the launch of one of their new fragrances. Oh, Echo's here! Hi! <laughs> what a glamorous entrance. Today we are doing like this super like lovely long weekend with Nina Ritchie. We're gonna go downstairs and have a chat with all of the Nina Ritchie team and then all of the other girls that are here because it's not just us. <laughs> We've just been for our little group chat and Alex and I have now raided all the snacks. All the snacks. <laughs> so we are back in the room. I am in my brand new pajamas, as is this one, who is currently trying to take a photo of herself. I just realized I sat on a macaroon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not just like provocative provocatively sitting like this. I have macaroon on my thumb. Sorry. What am I gonna do with her? So we're taking a couple of pictures in our pajamas for Instagram. These are from ASOS. I will see if they're still in stock. <laughs> they are awesome. They're like basically the pink versions of my other cactus pajamas, which you guys always, always ask where they are from. Also loving the new fragrance, which is amazing. I'm gonna show it to you quickly. <laughs> this bed is so big. So this is the new fragrance. It's called Luna. So you have Nina which is this one, this is their like OG scent, which is now like 10 years old. They've been doing this fragrance thing a long time and they've now released Luna and this is me in a bottle. It's very sweet, but a little bit kind of like dark and musky and I am all over this. It's great. So that is what we're here for the launch for, FYI. So I think this is actually my preferred fragrance out of the two. I would definitely recommend going and giving it a sniff. I'm gonna go get back to Instagram photos now because this one is just rushing around like a mad woman. The behind the scenes of a Hello October and I covered the photo shoot. We're currently going through vetoing and saying yes to our favorites. And I think now we're gonna order some room service. We're looking forward to mac and cheese. Hell yeah. <laughs> it's basically what we have every time we come here. It's always the same. Guys, food has arrived. Look at this broccoli. This is insane. I can't wait to have a bit of this. We're watching Gangster Squad because Alex hasn't seen it and I love. But let's talk about these scotch eggs because these are the best scotch eggs I've ever had in my life. I saw they weren't on the menu. Wanted to do a little cry until they said they'd make some for me because they are the best staff here. So we're going to tuck into this now. Mean Girls was great. I actually haven't watched that in ages, so it was really nice to just sit down and laugh hysterically for a good hour or so. And it is almost time for bed. I'm just gonna reply to some comments on today's video, and then we really need to go to sleep because guess who booked us in for the early gym session tomorrow? How do you feel? I feel great. So I am going to go to sleep in all of these comfy pillows. Good morning. So it's day two at Babington House with me and Richie and today Alex and I are off for a little workout with Carly, which I'm really looking forward to. So we've just finished our workout with Carly and I am very sweaty. I'm actually enjoying the fact that it is like mildly raining right now. Why my face goes so red because like all my heat comes out of my cheeks. Science, as told by Alex. Sometimes people don't get as hot because heat comes out of their cheeks. Class business. So we have come down to breakfast. I have my egg and sausages because I am five. And then these ladies here have their avocado on toast of course, and then pancakes for the table because this is how we roll. So we have come downstairs to do some floral crown arranging and there is the most gorgeous little display here, which is basically all of the notes of the Nina and Luna fragrances. So I'm gonna show you now, it's so cute. For Nina you have the toffee apple, cedarwood, lemon and lime, and then gardenia. And then over here with the Luna fragrance, you have the everlasting flower, wild berries, vanilla, caramel, orange blossom and then sandalwood and it's the caramel that definitely makes me love this this is one of um, one of my favorite perfumes has caramel in it along with vanilla as well and it's so beautiful
So it is a little bit late now. I've just been helping Alex with some stuff for her blog. We had so much fun making the flower crowns. But now we have some free time before dinner. And one of the first things that we are going to do, which is mine and Alex's favorite thing to do when we come here is go for a swim. Um, this is basically a vacation spot that's like quite a regular thing for me and Alex. We love coming here. We've got our towels. You excited? Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Everyone has vacated the pool, which means we can film, which is, <laughs> it's like really nice, like fresh spring temperature and it's sunny and the sun's like setting. This is weirdly romantic. <laughs> <laughs> So now we are on our way back to the room to get all dressed up for tonight where we're having like a cute little dinner with our Nina Ritchie family which will be really nice. I'm fully in vacation mode now. I think Alex's top signifies that we are officially in vacation mode. Like there's nothing like a swim to make you feel like you're and on holiday. Flip flops. Oh yeah we're wearing flip flops. <laughs> Instant holiday mode. Yeah I think the flip flops are definitely helping and the fact that it's not that cold is really nice as well. So I'm a very happy little chappy right now. We have a little bit of time to get ready, just a little bit. <laughs> and um, why are you laughing? I poured it all over my mouth. <laughs> guys, big oh. Basically, my point is we're gonna do a little Q&A together. I put some questions out on Instagram and Twitter and we're just gonna answer them whilst we get ready. Oh, cute. At what moment did you realize you were best friends? I knew when it was. When? <laughs> it was when the blue dress, the gold blue dress happened and, and I texted you back or something and I, it was funny what you said and then you were like, you're stupid but I love you. <laughs> something like that. It was probably an insult. A thinly veiled you. like insult. Oh, uh, do you know what? This wasn't actually the moment that I knew we were best friends but we were already best friends but it's one of those moments where it kind of comes off what you just said where you were like, you're a bitch but in an endearing way. <laughs> Our friendship is basically rooted on like a backhanded compliment. <laughs> Great, happy with that. I just thought that was really funny. What you just said just reminded me of that. That's one of my favorite compliments of all time. <laughs> and is it weird that I found that a compliment? I don't know. If I, if I could marry a friend, I would marry Alex. Oh. You would probably wouldn't want to marry me. It would be unrequited love. But... <laughs> I but marry you for I your feel. organisational skills and your kind of like getting shit done attitude, which I lack. Yeah. We'd be a good team. We're a good like yin and yang. And there's quite a few of these, so I feel like I can't ignore them. What yeah. annoys you most about the other person? <laughs> I think I've How seen that pop up on Twitter. <laughs> oh god, I don't even know where to start with you. <laughs> this is when you know, I think that's a good a sign of like being best friends when someone can make you so angry. Don't make you that angry. Uh, not angry, but like... You get quite frustrated with each other, but you still love each other. It's like a, you know, it's like having siblings. You know how like your siblings are like, I'm gonna bloody murder you in a minute. Yeah, Alex is very much like a dreamer, and um, she's probably about to burst into La La Land song as I say that. But she will happily like. Uh, this is how I envision Alex going about her day in her head. <laughs> And I'm like one of those people that's like power walking down the street. Who so also, when the two of us are like trying to get shit done, it's quite difficult. Yeah, because you'll go off, and I'm like, I have no idea what she's doing. <laughs> I have no idea. You might be power walking down the street, but you're doing it with like no soul. <laughs> I'm just not worrying about the other people on the street. Yeah, you're like, I must get this shit done. Don't care about anything else. Cost for I, time. I, one of the things that I know annoys you about me, and you say this to me all the time, is when I'm just like. Oh, look at that tree! And you're like, oh, fuck does it? I don't care. Shut up, Alex. I'm, I like to observe things, and I'm like, oh, look at that! Like, oh, isn't that funny? And she's like, yeah, oh, like you telling me when this? we travel sometimes, Alex is like, oh my gosh, look, it's a Fiji water. It was it you that I saw? <laughs> you were like, oh my god! It's Fiji I've never water. seen you roll your eyes so hard as when I picked up a huge bottle of Fiji That's... water at the LA airport at LAX, <laughs> and you were just like, why have you bought that? This is so really over expensive water, like it's ridiculous. One of the, that's one of the things that you hate about me though, is the eye roll. This is the biggest thing between us. I'm a complete optimist and you're a complete pessimist. But I also think, yeah, I always like, I prepare, I hope for the best, but prepare for the worst at all times. Whereas you will just go, it'll be fine. Yeah. And that really, that rages me. Like, I the rage see the good in me. things and I feel like I'm quite but positive about But then you have really stuff. bad moments because you don't prepare for them. <laughs> yeah. And that's like when you're when you're like saying to me, "Oh my god, this just happened." I'm like, "Well, I told you that would happen." 
Mm. And then I get that I told you so, and that that you don't like the I told you so. I either. hate the I told you. Nobody likes the I told you so. Oh, do you believe your zodiac signs match you when are your birthdays? I was talking to Josh about this the other day. I truly, I don't believe in zodiac shiz like your horoscopes, but I genuinely believe that your zodiac sign does say a lot about you. And I know lots of people are like, oh, but it's made to be so generic so that it can fit anyone. Mm. But honestly, I'm a Libra, and I think that balance is kind of like my thing and if my life isn't balanced i get very i have to look weird i feel like i'm a very typical cancer i'm emotional and yeah. like i like like homely things and i'd like to stay in bed libras are supposed to be like very self-absorbed <laughs> that's pretty spot <laughs> but also very driven i think who takes longer to get ready in the morning ding 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 we have a winner. I just really like taking my time getting ready and because I do liquid liner and stuff, it's never a quick process. I don't even like, know though if it is that because sometimes I watch you get ready and I'm like, oh, she's done now, she's done. And then she puts something else on and she's like, oh, she's done now. She looks like she should do. Like, my makeup looks great, like do does it not? Like, sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Perfume time. This is like us in scent bottles. Mm -hmm. I am pure. And pink. And whimsical. And whimsical. And fairy with your head up in the clouds and I'm like You're the realist, the dark one. Dark and bit like, blue, bit moody. Got a bit of a sadistic sense of humour. What's the one thing you secretly or not admire about each other? Mm, you know what I admire about you, and I tell you all the time, is your motivation and your drive and your ambition. I think that's pretty great. Yeah, it does get shit done. Mm. So getting handy. shit done is the general thing I'm like, oh man. Okay, then what do you admire about me? Um Although the optimism is like, I think it's like we have our pros and cons of the things we love about each other, also the things that wind us up, but your optimism is like nice. And it's like, I wish I could be that optimistic sometimes. <laughs> um, also your attention to detail, a whiz on Photoshop. She's also incredibly kind. And Aww, it's just- That's nice. You are. And it's like embedded <laughs> in her soul. Like you, you can also be a total brat, but <laughs> she's like incredibly good natured. <laughs> Um, I think everyone, no one's perfect. Everyone has like their like side. Yeah. They're like, oh my God. Everyone's got a bitch side. But, yeah, them, everyone yeah. has a bitch side, but Alex's good side is incredibly good. I think it's like inherent in her soul, whereas some people you're taught to be good. Thanks. I'm, I'm like, oh, that's really Aww. nice. I quite admire that because I don't have that. <laughs> it's like other people, <laughs> nah. Yeah, that's it. That's it, cool. guys. Done. Yeah, well done. I'm surprised that was a very coordinated high five. That's pretty good. So we are all ready for our lovely dinner. I'm in my needle and thread dress. So looking very, very springy right now with my green and blue dress and my little green bag. And then I've got my Topshop shoes on. These are the Lorna heels. They always have similar ones, but these are my favorites. They're so comfortable. And then Alex is here, gorgeous needle and thread dress. And then Mulvey bag. And then public desire shoes. Yes. Hey, got it right. Gorgeous. And your hair is looking very pinky. Did you tone it this morning? I did. You did. I'm you like are so matching with your dress. So I'm down at the bar <laughs> with the girls. Hi. 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 My drink has arrived. I'm not sure what's in it, but it's one of the virgin cocktails and I'm so excited to drink this. Is our last day at Baba's. We are up nice and early today to Alex's like absolute disgust. I just put La La Land soundtrack on at like eight o'clock in the morning. She was like, you said nine. <laughs> yeah, this morning we're going for another swim. We just love that pool. Love that, that pool, pool life. life. <laughs> this is the pool house. So cute, so, so cute. We literally have the whole pool to ourselves. And on top of having the pool to ourselves, I also have the beetroot ginger. Any, think of anything that you put, can put in a juice, and there is it is in here. It's great. So things took a very sad turn, and I've just been sitting on the floor in pain, having a little bit of a cry because I threw this vlogging camera at my ankle. Thank you. Look, um, can I get an avocado and sourdough, but without. There's a okay. mark on my ankle. Um, tears, tears were had. It hurt so much. Mm -hmm. Alex is ordering room service. Mm -hmm. uh, just a small one, please. 
a ginger juice and a green juice. Breakfast has arrived. Avocado on toast. Eggs Florentine. We're also wearing matching jumpers because we are that cool. Ooh, and juices too. Yay! We've had our breakfast. We are ready to go. I'm ready for a nap in the car. I don't know why I feel really sleepy after our swim this morning. It was so nice. I'm going to go home now. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm going to leave my last video here over Alex's face. Just we don't want to see her face. I'm going to leave my last video here and a subscribe button here if you're new and you would like to come back for more videos. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.